but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Mayfield now, eluding the pressure right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Again, this is Chubb. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Gets through, and now an opening. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That burst good for 20 and a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Detroit! Detroit! A first down throw from Mayfield. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Green, 39! Green, 39! Throwing again, Mayfield on second and 10. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Joey Bosa in there to get him for a loss of five. The Browns on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and 15. Working out of the gun. Mayfield being chased out left. And that is incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. They're indeed going. It's Mayfield. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. Got some real estate inside the 30. 34 yards there at a first down. But he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Oh, partner. That play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making them do it that way, didn't they? So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. 
So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Here comes the Browns' offense back onto the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those Detroit, first downs, Detroit. keep possession of the football. Second and nine now from the 21. Detroit! Detroit! Now a second down throw for Mayfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against his own before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. To throw, Mayfield, flush to his right. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Detroit! 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 Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Now Mayfield on fourth down. Flushed out right. And no, it's incomplete. Hugh Jackson rolls the dice, but it doesn't work for him. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. On first and ten, Rivers escaping the pressure right. And this is caught at the eight. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Hey, and the question hey, now, hey. how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. State, he fights his way in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Working out of the gun, Rivers eluding the pressure right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Run it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Heading out is the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time they were very fortunate, this offense. They went for it on fourth, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, <laughs> the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. A second down throw for Mayfield. Time finally runs out 
runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Detroit! Detroit! Gone! 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 Third and long for Mayfield. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Melvin Ingram in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. And down by five. They've got to go for it here on fourth down. Detroit! Detroit! Over, over! Over, over! Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Flush to his right. He's going to let... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pick. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down. Where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And now running right through it. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. The Chargers on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Hey, 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 hey. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10. Let's go! Blue lining! Blue lining! He'll look to throw. Underneath for Johnson. It's a gain of five. And it'll be a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll look to throw on the move to his left. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. That goes for a gain of 31. And he did exactly what they needed him to do, Charles. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, yet a guy's still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds? He got it done. Hurry up. Here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. Back to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. One last shot for Mayfield here. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. Well, Charles, exciting to the very end. That's what we just saw in this game. Final play there, had it in the red zone, but anytime you're outside of the 10, that's tough.